Okay, good morning class. So uh, basically now we will be looking um, at uh, the next topic which is polynomials. This will be a shorter lesson because we uh, ended off uh, our previous chapter, uh, chapter in, in this lesson as well. So we're looking at polynomials now. Okay, we are told the definition of a polynomial is an algebraic expression where the indices, what's an indice? The exponent. The indice of the variable x, y, etc. are positive integers. Remember what's an integer? Negative and positive whole numbers itself. Okay. O? O. No, zero. Why they say zero? Because I... Zero, integers are zeros as well, not so? Okay. The variables only appears in the numerator of the terms. So the excess is only in the numerator. That's basically what they're saying there. Are you all okay with that? Any confusion there what the, what the, what the polynomial is? So if for the, 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 the condition for polynomial, the exponent must be an integer. No, no, no. The exponent is both basically positive. The exponents or the indices are positive and uh, the, ex the, the variable must be in the numerator that's basically what they're trying to say positive integers oh I see now what they're trying to say they're trying to say here yeah, that positive integers or zero yeah not O. Oh, it's like a zero no so a positive integers or zero okay it's a bit confusing there so the exponent on the variable can be so they could have, what could they have just said? What, no, the other one that we were speaking about all the time when we did the table. We spoke about whole numbers. Remember, you started at 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, not so. The counting numbers, yes. So instead of that, I would have said a polynomial is an algebraic expression where the indices or the exponents of the variables are n to the 0, which is Counting numbers or whole numbers. No? That's what I would have said. So now if you're saying integers, we're thinking integers are positive and negative numbers. Not so. That's a bit confusing there. But it's fine. In one point, in question one, in example one, and this one page, which page is on in your books? What the blood say is the op? Sorry? Oh, you don't have that. This is on page 23. On page 23. Okay. So, the question is given here that you got 3x to the exponent 6 minus 5 exponent, exponent 4 plus 2x cubed minus half x squared minus 5x plus 8 is a polynomial in descending powers of x okay descending powers what is descending powers biggest to smallest and as you can see that 6 x to the 6 x to the 4 x to the 3 x to the 2 x to the 1 and so on yeah the degree of the expression is 6 what is degree people the highest exponent on x in this case is the numerical coefficient of the second term. So if you're looking at the second term, the one, the second, that's the second term. What does numerical mean? Yeah. Number. The numerical coefficient of the second term is negative five. You guys understand? Yes. Then he says the numerical coefficient of the fourth term. So you count one, two, three, four. This is the fourth term. Negative half. Another way they could have written the same thing was what's the coefficient of that? Still negative half. Not so. Uh, what would the co numerical coefficient of that be? Negative also negative half. Because uh, all of these here are the same thing. You all agree with that? Okay, so all of that is the same, which gives you a coefficient of negative 
a half leaf. Okay. Then the index of the first term. What does index mean? The exponent. So exponent on the first term is six. The exponent on the second term is four. The exponent or the index on the third term is three. The, exp the index on the fourth term, fifth term, one. There's nothing, nothing written there, is there? One. You all understand. Another word for for index is exponent, and many indexes are indices. I think. Okay. And uh, what's the value of the constant term? Eight. What if this was negative here? Negative. Then it would have been negative eight. Remember that the sign is part of the term. Verstaan Right. Then the next question. In the next question, if x is equal to negative 1, calculate the value of the expression. So if x is equal to negative 1, they're asking you to find the value of the expression. Okay? So this takes us back to substitution. So wherever we see an x, what do we do? We replace it with a negative one. Now you must remember when the negative has an odd exponent, it will always be? If the exponent is odd, then the number will always be? Negative. negative. If the exponent is even, the number will be? Positive. positive. Are you all okay with that, no? Right. So wherever we see uh, they saw x, they put a negative one. So it's 3 into negative 1 to the exponent 6 minus 5 to the negative 1 to the exponent 4 plus 2 times negative 1 to the cube minus half into negative 1 squared minus 5 times negative 1 plus 8. As we said, if the number is even, then it will be positive. Even, positive. Odd, negative. Even, positive. And here what they did was they said negative times Negative 5 times negative 1 is going to give you positive 5. Then they say 1 times 3 is 3. Uh, 1 times negative 5 is negative 5. 2 times negative 1 is negative 2. Negative 1 half times 1 is negative 1 half and so on. And then what do they do? They just add it. Okay. Are you all okay with this? Alright, we did have this last year as well. Okay. Then the next question, example 2, says Number 2 Here we are told in number 2 you got 4a, four 4b uh, four cubed minus 2ab squared plus a third a squared b minus 5a cubed is a polynomial in descending. What does descending mean? Bigger or small. Descending powers of b and ascending, which means to say smallest to biggest in powers of a. So if you're looking at b, uh, you got b cubed, b squared, b and no b. Not so. So if you're right, if you're looking at the ascending of A, there's no A here. A1, A2, A3. Can you see that? So the other A is getting bigger, and the other B is getting smaller. You guys understand? So let's look at exercise 1 on page 5. Exercise 1 on page uh, 23, sorry. Exercise 1, page 23. We're going to answer these questions quickly. Don't have to write the questions down, just write the reference, okay?
Give you five minutes. I'll pause the video at this point. Okay, at this point, uh, you guys uh, have answered most of the questions. So let's look at the first question. In the expression, negative 3x to the exponent 4, plus 5x cubed, minus 2x squared, minus 8x plus 2. The first question is the coefficient on of the first term is. Are you looking at the first term? It is going to be negative 3. The index of the fourth term so is 1, 2, 3, 4. The index, 1. The exponent, in other words, so is going to be 1. The constant term is the term without the variable. It's positive. The degree of the polynomial, the degree is the highest exponent on x, 4, so it's fourth degree. Number of terms in this expression? 5. What separates terms is? Plus and minus. So it's 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. 5 terms. The terms are arranging? Descending. Descending powers of x. If x is equal to negative 2, the value of the polynomial is. So in other words, wherever we see x, we must put a negative, negative 2. So we open up with, say, negative 3 into negative 2 to the exponent 4 plus. 5 into negative 2 to the exponent 3 minus. 2 into negative 2 squared. Minus 8 into negative 2 plus 2. So what we're going to do first is sort out the exponents. So it's going to be negative 3 into negative uh, 2 uh, to the exponent 4 is positive 16. Remember if the exponent is even on the negative it will be positive. And if it's odd, the exponent is odd on the negative it will be negative. So it will be 5. Negative 2 raised to the exponent neg uh, to the ne um, 3 is negative 8. Negative 2 into negative 2 squared, positive 4. I can multiply that out. Negative 8 times negative 2, positive 16 plus 2. So at this point, I'm going to sort out the brackets, get rid of the brackets. Okay? So negative times positive is negative. 3 times 16 is 48. Positive 5 times negative 8 is negative 40. Negative 8 plus 16 plus 2. You all agree with that? So that is going to give you the 18 is 10. Negative 30. So I'm coming out with negative 78. Is that correct? Yes, sir. No. Who else got that answer? Negative 78. And okay, I'm feeling better. You see? People, any confusion with regards to these questions that we looked at here? Sorry? Any confusion? No. Yes, Michael. D. The degree of the expression. Yes. You can just write 4, no problem. But you can't write negative 3x to the power 4. No. You can just write 4 for fourth degree. Okay. For homework. You're going to... Are you complaining? Oh, I thought, I thought you guys want to do well in maths. Then you must do the work. For homework for tomorrow. I want you guys to do out of exercise 1 on page 23, number 2. Number 3. You do for me number 2 and number 3. That's on page 22 and uh, 23. So on page 23. Then you do number four, the odd numbers only. Number four is the odd numbers only. Sorry? Exercise uh, one, page 23. It's number two, three, and four is the odd numbers only. 
Then you add of exercise. What's that? Okay. 